Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Have you ever taken a high-speed rail across the seabed at a speed of 350 km per hour? If not, then your chance is coming. Because China is now building the world's first submarine high-speed rail. In December 2018, there was a news that shocked the world. China will build a submarine high-speed rail tunnel with a speed of 350 km per hour, which is the Shantou Bay Submarine Tunnel. The tunnel is 9,781 meters long and is located in Guangdong province. The construction difficulty of this submarine high-speed rail is unprecedented. The tunnel is located in the 8-degree earthquake zone and needs to cross 17 fault fracture zones, eight of which are active faults, which is the most underwater tunnel in the world. And how did China successfully build this miracle project? Hello everyone! This video will reveal to you what methods Chinese builders used to overcome difficulties and build this submarine high-speed rail tunnel. China's infrastructure construction is famous all over the world, and China's high-speed rail is even more so. The early world high-speed rail market was monopolized by Japan and Germany, but through their own unremitting efforts, the Chinese finally achieved double overtaking in both technology and quality, and became the leader in the world's high-speed rail industry today. And now, China is even planning to drive the trains running on land into the depths of the sea. This submarine high-speed rail line is located between Mayu Island and Dechao Island, with a total length of 9,781 meters, the Shantou Bay Submarine Tunnel, which officially started construction on August 4, 2020. Although the total length of this tunnel is only 10 kilometers, it is almost impossible to build a tunnel on the seabed that uses electric propulsion to allow the train to run at a speed of 350 km per hour. Why? Because there are currently no successful cases in the world to refer to, and the geological environment in this area is still very complicated. According to preliminary surveys, the area where the subsea tunnel belongs is a high-intensity earthquake area. The planned route requires crossing very dense damage zones. However, According to the analysis, the tunnel crossed a total of 17 broken ribbons in the 8th earthquake zone, and 8 of them were active faults. The rocks in this fault area are in the state of fragments, and the areas with a large number of dense rock ribbons are generally seismically active areas. Building a tunnel in this area is likely to cause major accidents such as landslides, and even if the tunnel can be successfully built, subsequent maintenance work will be very difficult. If this is a project located on the ground, then there are solutions to this series of problems. But excavating tunnels on the seabed not only has to face a series of different geological layers, but also has to overcome huge water pressure. It is understood that the underwater pressure of this tunnel has reached 0.97 MPA. What kind of concept is this? In other words, every square meter of the subsea tunnel in this area needs to bear 100 tons of pressure and the high concentration of seawater will also cause serious corrosion to engineering facilities. With such a huge volume, the difficulty of construction can be imagined. Faced with the enormous difficulty of the project and the many difficulties in the construction, Chinese engineers brainstormed and proposed various plans to eliminate these obstacles to success one by one. They proposed three different construction methods for different geological environments. The open-cut method can be used at the beginning of the tunnel which is the most basic and commonly used method in tunnel engineering construction. After the construction personnel dig an exit on the ground, they will dig a tunnel deep down for support, and finally backfill the previously dug soil to complete the job. This method is generally used in shallow tunnels, so it is mainly used at the entrance of the overall subsea tunnel. For deeper layers of weathered rock, the mine method can be used. As the name suggests, this method of construction was born to target hard mines, this method is to utilize blasting to carry out tunnel building in the section of rock layer. However, this method is prone to collapse after the rock layer is blasted. Therefore, tunnels excavated by mining methods need to be excavated in sections. While excavating, the tunnels also need to be supported to prevent sudden collapse of the tunnels. The hardest granite construction team adopts the shield method. The protagonist of the shield method is the shield machine, which is like a giant electric drill which can smash the hard granite into pieces. Using this shield machine for excavation, the scrap copper and gravel used for stable excavation of the tunnel at the same time can be transported out directly. And the operation of the shield machine is fully automatic. 
It is obviously the most reliable way to carry out such dangerous construction work. Although this method has many advantages, it will fall into continuous troubles when facing soft soil layers. At the same time, the tunneling speed of the shield machine is also a big problem. So the shield machine can only be called under appropriate circumstances. It is extremely difficult to solve these problems alone. Not to mention the emergencies encountered in real scenarios. The overall construction difficulty of this project is much higher than everyone imagined. For such a project that requires a lot of manpower, materials, and funds, many people think that there is no need to build it, but the reason why China is determined to build is that the huge investment is directly proportional to the return it brings. Once this line is completed, it will be able to connect the two cities of Shantou and Shanwei and enhance the exchange and development between Guangdong and the Pearl River Delta. Shantou Bay Railway is an important part of the rail transit network in Guangdong. When there was no such line in the past, the communication between the two cities required a large detour. The lives of local people are also very inconvenient. After the opening of this line, the local traffic development will enter a new stage, and China's undersea tunnel construction is far more than that. China has already built a number of undersea tunnels before, most of which are concentrated in the southern region. As early as 2010, China had built the first subsea tunnel and successfully opened it to traffic. This subsea tunnel was built in Shangan, Xiamen, and all of them were independently designed and constructed by China. The construction of the tunnel took more than four years. In the past, people described Xiamen's Shangan district as barren and traffic blocked. There were only two passages the Xiamen Bridge and the Xiamen Seawall. Inside and outside the island, it takes more than two hours to take a bus one way. But after the opening of the Xiamen Shangan submarine tunnel, it only takes eight minutes one way. During the construction process, the builders encountered various world-class problems in the weekly fence lake and sand layer weathering troughs in this area. These unfavorable geology is of such a large scale that it is rare in the world. In order to solve these problems smoothly, the builders relied on the combination of tradition and innovation, adapted measures to local conditions and successfully overcome one problem after another, creating one world record after another. It is the subsea tunnel with the shallowest covering layer in the world. The thinnest part is only 5.7 meters. It is also the tunnel with the largest cross-sectional area in the world, with an unprecedented cross-sectional area of 170.7 square meters. 2.35 million cubic meters of abandoned earth and rock were excavated from this subsea tunnel, which can basically pile up a total of about 50,000 tons of basic building materials such as blankets, steel frames and steel bars used in the Great Egyptian Pyramid on land, which is equivalent to 7 French Eiffel the amount of the tower. China is a big ocean country, so there will be more and more submarine projects in the future. The smooth completion of one grand project after another in China will play an important role in the continuous revival. These projects have condensed the unimaginable hardships and painstaking efforts of the builders, poured the wisdom and expectations of countless people, reflected China's tenacious will to never give up in the face of difficulties and obstacles, and demonstrated the scientific and technological innovation achievements of China's construction power. It is one monument after another in China's infrastructure construction. It is estimated that in March 2023, the Shantou Bay submarine tunnel will be completed and open to traffic. All of this is inseparable from the efforts and efforts of the builders.